All right. Yeah, I think I'll start with number Let's nine. I am here to help you with all of your underpants problems. Oh, okay. don't say underpants. Don't even support. if you're a normal person, even if you're organized, sometimes your underwear is just stuffed at the top drawer with all your socks and all your other personal items and your underclothes. And you should get yourself this simple housewares underwear organizer. The name says it all. There's this. individual spots for each pair of panties. Oh, come oh it's on. better than that. Yeah. Was that a, a sigh at the word panties or the organizer itself? Both. A little no. both. So that was a little seems like a I little too. There. It seems like a little too much. I mean, you could just you see them all there. You just grab them, but now you have to fold your underwear too. <laughs> you just, they're all right there. All right. all right, number eight. If you're uh, spring cleaning this year, here's a tip: the three pile rule. Ooh. One to keep, one to toss, one to hide. Hide. I thought that meant donate or something. Well, let me keep reading. Now, it might sound weird to hide stuff, but experts say it works. Take the items you're not sure about and hide them in a bin somewhere. If you haven't gone into that bin in three months, you toss it or donate it. The hide it test gives you a little time if you can't make that decision without committing to donating or tossing. But if you have not thought about it or wanted to use it, that's just proof that it's okay to give it away. I feel like that's a good way to just get a tub of stuff stuck in your basement that you'll uh, never actually get rid of, right? Of like, yeah. yeah. Got a lot of them down there. <laughs> Number seven, here's a quick history lesson about ranch dressing. It's been the best selling salad dressing in America since 1992. And that is the year that it overtook Italian dressing. And oh. get this, it really did start when hidden, uh, at Hidden Valley Ranch. That is an actual place huh. in the Santa Barbara Mountains north of L.A. I didn't know that. A successful businessman came up with the recipe when he lived in Alaska. He had a lot of workers to feed, and so after they bought the ranch, people in California started loving his dressing, so he sold little packets of mix for 75 cents. That was in the late 50s. By the early 70s, it was so popular that he had a mail-order business and he could barely keep up. Uh, so we got bigger, got some factories in Nevada, and sold it to Clorox in 1972 for $8 million. Uh, Kraft and General Foods then copied the recipe, and they just called it Ranch. What do you I know? I actually didn't started know there. all that. Didn't, had no idea. Cool. All right, number six, we're looking at some of the most stolen items. Here's one that you wouldn't expect, deodorant. Huh. According to security analysts, deodorant accounts for 15% of stolen items from store shelves. They have no real explanation except that it's relatively easy to slip it under a jacket or toss it in a bag without calling much attention to it. Boy, look at us giving tips to the criminals. <laughs> yeah. Which, <laughs> Just right up your sleeve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which could explain why you see all the deodorant locked away behind glass on store shelves, especially if you live in big cities now. Because right. that's the most stolen item. Who huh. knew? Okay. Uh, number five, stop paying your kids to do chores around the house. Don't worry. I yeah. don't. <laughs> well, apparently it's a terrible idea. Parenting experts say you should uh, keep allowances and chores separate. They say you shouldn't have to pay your children to clean up after themselves. It's just something they should do to contribute to the household. And it's something they should do to learn responsibility and to take pride in themselves. As far as allowances go, use that money to teach your kids about money. Give them allowances so they can learn how to save and keep track of their spending habits. Yeah. I just do what you want. Yeah. yeah. I used to get Sometimes 20, the bribe works. So. Yeah. I would get um, 25 cents for pre for piano practice a day. 25 oh. cents. And that's how I would earn my allowance, remember. So at the end of the week, you'd have like So you weren't 25. really doing the dishes or? Yeah. So no, because you didn't want to practice, so it would make you practice? I think it was just like an incentive, but I remember my dad had this, this book that he made, and he checked off each day, and then each day would be 25 cents. Oh. Um, and that, that was all the way through high school. No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I think like by got, the time I graduated college, yeah, I, I bought Snickers. Yeah. I remember and hearing I that friends of mine got an allowance. I remember saying to my dad, can we get an allowance? He goes, yeah. you get money whenever you need it, and I'm not giving you extra. Yeah, yeah we didn't get allowances yeah. either. Yeah. But I also, yeah. yeah but, you know, know, my house don't. Yeah, everyone does it different. Not, yeah. Number four, the owners <laughs> of this houseboat in Miami are refusing to pay property taxes. They claim it's more boat than it is house. City officials disagree, so let's break it down. The houseboat is technically a floating structure, but it barely meets seaworthiness requirements. Uh, it can travel about five miles per hour if it absolutely has to, but critics say the boat portion is a loophole for rich people to live on the water without paying taxes. Huh. 
interesting. Post up on Lake Michigan. Can <laughs> you imagine just <laughs> Dan's yeah. like, hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. a permanent spot in a playpen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's permanent in a playpen <laughs> year-round. <laughs> year-round, middle of winter, I'm out there ice fishing. Not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Here's some here's some very local coho salmon for yeah. dinner. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, all right, number three. If your partner snores, here's an option for you. Try elevating their head on the pillow. And if that doesn't work, you can try mouth tape. Oh, come on. I was Are about to kidding? do this last night, I swear. The trend comes and goes. One of our news writers is trying it out. He says his wife made him do it. So how does it work? You take porous tape and put it over your upper and lower lips. Is that it? And it makes it dip difficult to open your mouth so that you'll breathe through your nose while you're sleeping, which could help people who snore. There's no real scientific research to back this up, by the way. And as for our news writer who's trying it out, he says, it's not helping. It freaks him out too much, and he's heading to the couch. Yeah, yeah, so I would like freak out. Someone's suffocating you. Yeah, and fall asleep. But desperate times, desperate measures. <laughs> Separate rooms. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number room. two. More from awful taste, great execution. Okay. Rice. Is rice, it rice snails. On your nails? Oh, oh dear. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Date night. Oh, I didn't see that transition <laughs> coming. What is okay. it's a chair. chair. Okay. Starfish chair. What? What's this? I can't. They did they designed it themselves, that's what it is. Oh. Okay. Chest terror. <gasps> oh, wow. Can't tell if that's his hair or they just plucked the Cheetos on. Oh, I think he put the Cheetos on there. Okay. Yeah. But boy, it makes me hungry for Cheetos. I like the puffy Cheetos better than the crunchy. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Unless puffy. we're talking flaming hots. Yeah. Oh, I don't like the I don't like the flaming hot. Flaming not dipped hot. in. Yeah, flaming hots and the cream cheese. That's Morgan's favorite snack. It's Rockford specialty. You don't agree? I'm, yeah. I'm not a big fan of the hot spicy. But with cream cheese, it cuts right. the heat. Did you say Have it's you a Rockford it? specialty? <laughs> it, <laughs> it is. Invented in and Rockford. And I got you and Glencoe to try it out, and now you're hooked. Did I you? gotta try it by It's good? Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Marcus eats it now. Morgan's got all kinds of great uh, recipes and ideas. <laughs> and then, again, It starts from Rockford, and it works its way east. <laughs> so it's usually the trends go west yeah. If I don't like spicy, <laughs> would I still like it? <laughs> 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 Work a lot of Wow. <laughs> Morgan and I just work each other up on this. I know, I know, I know. We have nothing in common, but nothing. ironically, the, the, the exact same humor yeah. in so many categories. Yeah. Not all of them, though. Don't rope me into some of those. I know. Yeah. All right, Daniel, you're That's up. Good. Number one, uh, you can never go wrong with the clip from Video Mate, the dating service from the 80s. Uh, most of these guys might be taken by now. Let's hope. Okay, early to bed, early to rise makes a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's why you're wiser than me. It's Stephen. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. Hi, my name's Monroe. Uh, you've probably already noticed that I have incredibly blue eyes. Hi, my name is Phil. Uh, most of my friends call me Big Phil. Okay, um, I like to talk to people uh, deep into the night. I play guitar. I'm Aton. Hi, I'm Fred. <laughs> Hi, my name's Mike, and if you're sitting there watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the fast forward button, because I don't smoke and I don't like people who do smoke. Oh my. I'm not like afraid it. to get sand on my tuxedo if you're not afraid to let the wind mess your hair up a little bit when I take the top down. Perhaps even a, a nice bath with some champagne and candles. Hi, Mom. <laughs> um, oh. I do fashion photography, and I do consider myself a refined valley dude. I don't know, what I'm not looking for is uh, some big overgrown monster that's always <laughs> thinking about food and... Whoso <laughs> binds to himself a joy, doth its winged life destroy. Oh. Um, I like to uh, do a lot of sailing. I like to outdoor activities. I like climbing. I like travel. I took a sponge ball and <clears throat> was pulling yeah. them out of a little girl's ear. Vivacious. Foxy. I'm looking Foxy. for the goddess. Are you the goddess? Oh. Whoa. Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. Oh, dear. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> 
I almost prefer it to what what you see on not that I'm on you know Tinder or Bumble or anything, but you know that's at least a little more direct. You know. Yeah, you know what you're getting into. There. You know what you're getting into. I feel like anyone can filter Rather than these a still pictures. Photo, yeah. Plus, uh, a friend of mine was showing, was going through our Tinder, and every guy was holding a, a dead fish. Was holding a fish in the in the profile <laughs> picture. Dang. That's, that's what they're. Why that's the, the introduction. They're, they're hunters. Oh, not is that supposed to be everybody appealing? has like a meal service? Opening picture. I don't well, know. They like to fish and hunt. It's just as bad now. It has yeah. not gotten. Better. Okay, oh. so our tour director but is Kelly. The fi why the fish? I don't know. Well, you're showing off your game. Like I can I provide know. for you, like, but it's just there are a lot of dead animals in the in the yeah. opening photo. It just seems a little off putting. Boy, it'd be funny to. I'm, everyone's nodding their heads around here. I'm not yeah. making this up. I, I don't know uh, where those people are now, but good on them. That's the nine at nine. Boy, look yeah. at the opportunities missed.